Hello, welcome to 22 Haitian Baby Page. Um, so, if you don't want to hear what I have to say, uh, then just fast forward five to seven minutes because I'm going to take five to seven minutes to tell you guys um, what I'm planning to do for the month of November. First, I want to say hello, welcome to November. And I'm really excited because I've been losing some inches in my stomach since I've been kind of, uh, I started last week, um, to kind of transition myself into it. But, uh, this November is going to be a no nonsense November because, um, I'm not going to do anything to sabotage myself. Uh, and I'm going to stick to saying no and staying strong and to especially carbs and stuff like that, that I uh, particularly like, uh, to eat. Um, so, so when it comes to pork, I'm going to try to wear myself off on pork, uh, where I eat it once a month. I don't really eat pork a lot, but I feel like I eat it more than once a month now. Um, so what I'm planning to do for the month of November, I am planning to go to the gym every day, um, like every day. Um, and I'm also planning on, um, and I'm going back, well, today, actually, going to back to Forever 21 just for the holiday season to work. Um, the other thing is um, I'm changing my eating habits. So I'm not eating anything that has that I have to add sugar to. And the things that I do that already have sugar, I'm not going to eat anything with a double digit. So it has to have like a single digit. Um, if it has a double digit, I guess I could count it depending on what it is. But I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to cut out some things, like I'm going to cut out my bread um, intake. I don't eat too much of bread, but uh, I do, but like, as in like making a sandwich, I'm not going to make a sandwich and stuff like that. Um, pasta, I'm going to have to stop with the pasta. I found some gluten-free pasta that was very good at Aldi's. Um, they have the best wheat whole wheat pasta and the gluten pasta so I could do that. I really haven't been in a cooking mood so I haven't been cooking like that. I've been going out more. So that coming to a stop. Um and um I've been trying to drink more water and I've been successful at that. So I'm gonna continue to drink more water. Um I think the water is the reason why my stomach has been going flat because I'm not a I could go a whole day without drinking anything. Like I'm not a drinker. Well, I'm not a drinker of alcohol <laughs> or a drinker of liquid. So that's why I have to like force myself to drink something. Um, so this video is a hair haul video because I just came through the uh, from the hair store. And there are some hairs that's on sale um, that I just wanted to show you guys. This, and then two wigs that I want to um, try on for you guys. And then obviously tell you guys what I have in this one. Um, and... Uh, if you check out my last video, uh, you could see, you could see where I got this, which was for Forever 21, the plus section. It's a shirt. And the reason why I say it's a shirt is because it's open like this, like where the belly is open like this. Obviously it's not open like this. Um, these were 590s. These were extra large. I wanted to get the extra large. I could fit the large, but I wanted to get the extra large just to get this type of lip lift on it, like more of a high hikage okay with it um as you guys can see it has like a high low effect on it uh i love the pattern it has this cut out as you guys can see when i was tying it in it and you see it kind of has this um 70s sleeve it's not bell sleeves but i still like when the sleeves are like this so it's like I call a control bell sleeve. So control because it's restricted with this band, but it still has the puffiness that a bell sleeve would um, give you. And then I um, got paired it up with these green earrings that I got at the um, beauty supply store for $3.99. And I did have some lipstick on, but um, we had this thing going on in my church and then I was eating. So, but anyway, um, so yeah, so if everything go good well for the non no nonsense uh November, then that's when I'm gonna go to desperate December. I'm gonna talk more about that towards the end of November. But that's when I'm gonna go to desperate December because I'm really determined to end this year not in the same I'm not gonna say the same weight because I'm not really looking into the number, but not 
in the same size okay there you go in the same size i want everything to be drastically changed now i, I know it can't be drastically changed that fast but more than what i'm doing with now okay all right so let's start this video so i went to the hair store and you guys know that i did the big beautiful hair um and I mix my big beautiful hair with the, um, because the big beautiful hair I only have blonde and uh, like a burnt sienna, like a reddish um, color. So I mixed it with the um, Q uh, Master Mix, the Malaysian Bohemian, and I had the blue black. So now I went back to the store and I got the purple black. So it's O-T-D-K-P-U, which is D-K is dark and P-U is purple and um, two-tone, basically. Um, so I got that. So you get 216, 216, 214, 214s, and 212s. And then you also get a closure with it. So it has this beautiful lady on it. So this is originally how it goes. Uh, if you get the kinky hair from Big Beautiful Hair, the bohemian hair matches this hair well. Like, And that's only if you're a person like me that you kind of like off off the wall colors you know like purple or blue or pink or green then then with milky way because milky way is the one that gives you more of those type of colors those are the ones that you could kind of mix it with okay and that's what i did so if you check out my previous videos you'll be able to see that so i got that way i got that um one because i'm going to repeat um that here i have i have a whole bunch of like I have some hair left over from the blue black hair and I have some hair left over basically from the um, Povola wig. Um, no, that's what I have on. Um, from the uh, big beautiful hair and also the blue black hair from the uh, kinky, right? From the Bohemian uh, Milky Way. So I got these, okay? Um, they're two-time rod twist braids, crochet braids. I got five packs um, of this hair with this beautiful lady on it um 5.3 ounces they say one plus one pack so i guess it's a twin pack just dip it in hot water the curl and the ends curl they said but the ends are pretty curled anyway you know if you see the picture it's pretty curled anyway um i always wanted to do this when i saw the people uh curling their the hair with the uh the marley hair with the hot rods but the reason i couldn't do it is because i did i don't trust myself with hot water i would need some assistance and i don't trust my husband with hot water pouring in my head because he's not good at paying attention to anything so let alone i'm not gonna trust him with my scalp where i could get damagedly burned um so uh i got uh two packs of one being two packs of one only because they didn't have any Two, they only have two packs of 1B. So the ones is going to go in the back, then the 1B. And then when I see myself kind of going up, I'm going to do a peekaboo effect with the dark purple. See, right there, it doesn't look too purple. Right here, it doesn't look too purple. But trust me, this thing is purple. It's like one of those things that trick you when you take it. Like, it, see, like it, it doesn't look purple. But once you take it out of the pack, you're like, whoa, this thing is purple. So I know I'm going to be doing this sometime soon. I'm getting these hairs ready for the winter time. Um, and you know, I live up North, so I actually do have a real winter. Um, so yeah, so those were $3.99 a pack. This was also $3.99 pack. The Bumba Dreadlocks, Flux Locks. Um, I just got two packs at $3.99. I just got two packs of 1B, uh, just two packs of 1B, uh, because, um, I did this, um, I did my girlfriend's hair. Hey, Jay. Um, this coworker of mine, her hair, and she ran out of, hair and I had to dip out of my stash so since I dipped out of my stash I had to replace it I just replaced it because I since I was already at the hair store I'm not gonna wait so I just replaced it and then um I got this because I was gonna use some um it was a I'll, I'll link it below I'll link it below but it was this um youtube i saw that this girl basically had her hair like mine but she did it crochet style and that's what originally what i was going to do and then she had one of these brushes with her and um i didn't get to try this they have this one and then they have another one that's um where the box is black and this little red part have it's infused with um argan oil that's the one I wanted to get, but that was 60 bucks. This one was on sale for 30 so I was like, yeah, let me just get the 30 bucks. They have a black girl on here. Her hair is straight, but I didn't use it yet, so 
it goes up to 450. I probably won't do it that way, uh, that high. But when I went to go get the hair that the girl link below um, had crocheting her hair, she paid five dollars for it. When I went to my local beauty supplies, it was eight ninety nine. I wasn't gonna do that. Five dollars. I kind of was like, okay, that's that's fine. She had, um, I think she had three to four pack, no, four to five packs, and I was gonna get eight packs. So I was like, yeah, no, nah, I ain't gonna do that. I'll just order it online. I haven't ordered it yet, but um, next next payday I'll order it. So um, anyway, um, so you see, there's a light, there's a temperature control, go up, go down, on and off, really easy. Uh, six feet swivel cord, so you don't have to worry about the cord getting all over the thing. And they say it's great for travel, so I'm just gonna use this and see. I'm gonna use it on my Pavola wig, not this one, the other black one, and see if it really works, and then I'll make a more in-depth video about this especially when i crochet the hair to my head because i've been really liking this part like front part type hair um you as you guys can see if you've seen my many videos before this one you'll see that i've been really on this hair and then i have two wigs to get to so before I get to the two wigs, let me um, let me talk about this wig that I have in my head, only because I have to take this wig off in order for you guys. Now, some of these wigs, um, you can find them cheaper online. Some of them, when you, especially when they're popular, some of them, when you find it online, it's pretty much not that much of a difference. Some of them is a big difference. Like this Pavola wig now, it's like really cheap. Um, when I first bought it, I didn't know about it because I'm not a wig person. I, it looks like I'm becoming one. Um, they, it was like dirt cheap, like $25 and I paid 60 bucks for it. So I knew when I was going to go back and get this one, which is the blue, dark blue, black one. I knew that I was going to get it online because I was going to pay six, 60 bucks twice. Heck, you know. So anyway, um, um, yeah, so this one is a Swiss lace front um, from Vivica A. Fox. I told you guys, I don't know what's going on with this girl, but Vivica A. Fox been killing it. Like, really, really killing it. Um, uh, so, this is the blue-black hair. It's a silky soft lace swifts, uh, one-by-one one strand hand uh, tied. The most natural look as you guys can see she ain't lying i did put makeup on it um this is how it looks i didn't pluck nothing out of it this is originally how it looks like this um i believe this hair is um 20 it comes underneath my boobs so i think it's like 22 inches this hair is not meant to be like this it's honestly meant to be on the side but I don't like it on the side. I don't mind it having a bang like this because that's usually how I part my bangs going this way. But um, when it came to this particular wig, I just really wanted a middle, a middle part. I just really wanted a middle part. And that's why I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do a middle part with this one. So it's a beautiful hair, soft texture. It's that yakky texture, but it's still soft. Even when it naps up, uh, just like uh, the the... Just like the um, the black version of this, it naps up. Uh, it's still manageable. So I really like this hair. So let me get the other hair ready. Now this Pavola wig, it has... I guess I might as well put the cap on. So it has... Um, I barely wear a cap with my wigs, and I was in a rush today, so. Um, but anyway, it has two combs in the front and one comb in the back. So that's the Pavola wig. The next wig is this wig, and I wish she would have, because it's from Brown Sugar. I got the green, so it's SR1B slash teal. I don't know the name of this wig. I really don't. I, I don't know why she took the, that part off of it. Because I literally just came from the hair store. See? 
So just look for this when you go online. Okay, it's from uh, Brown Sugar. I'm pretty sure if you go to Brown Sugar website, you'll this will automatically pop up because this is new. And this was the last one. I had to buy this one from the freaking mannequin. The one thing I love about this hair, I bought it and I asked her to cut the um, the lace. That wig that I just took off, the Pavola wig, I cut that lace myself. But I'm not really great. I'm not an expert on cutting lace wigs. So that's why when I buy it, that's why I prefer to buy it in the store, but sometimes the store overcharges you too much. But if I do buy it online, then obviously I'm forced to cut it. I can't buy it online and be like, and go to the hair store, hey girl, can you cut it for me? No. One thing I like about this hair um, is from Isis, okay? Um, no combs, you see? And then it's like no lace, but it has this lace. It has this part, so it has like this lace effect that's basically like plastic almost. So I, I really like that. Like, I really, really, really like that. So let's try it on. Which is funny because I was looking for a short hair anyway. I wanted a short type bob hair anyways. Oh, shoot. I wanted a short bob anyway, and I and I, I I've been dying for green. You guys know that from my other wig that I put. I made a wig video that says the best wig for uh the best wigs for wig for the beginner, the best wigs for wig beginners, the best wig beginner wigs. You guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, I made a video about that because, like I told you guys, I usually don't wear wigs like that. I just been wearing wigs because I've been trying to give my hair a break. Um, especially since I know that it's going to be stressed out during the winter time because I'm going to be like crochet, crochet, crochet. So I try to do crochet and then most likely some, um, some, what's that word? Crochet and some, um, sewing. And so I tried to give it some, oh, I guess I wanted to do it like this. Like and I thought I could do a middle part with it, but I don't think I can. I think it's meant to be just slightly on the side, just slightly. And I love how this hair falls. Like none of my hair is going to be out. This is perfect. Like when when, I, when you have a wig like this, the good thing about it is you could put like, I have one of those uh, silk kind of, uh, it's not a bonnet because it's like one of those silk things that you just put like that. You can put that over your edges and then put the hair over it, you know, but you, you still got to be careful because it is silk and, you know, it could kind of help the hair slide out faster. So still pin your stuff now. But, oh, I'm... Ooh! This bob is me right here. I think... Because the other green wig that I had, I was going to use that for November. But I think I'm going to have to holler at this one for November. I might have to go back and get a black one just so I can wear it to work. My boss is talking about I got to use... I can't wear my... um head scarf you know the ones that you guys see me with sometimes on youtube the african scarf i can't wear that it's it's not present she black too and it's not presentable but you know i'm not trying to get her in trouble or anything like that but i'm just like and and then when she said that a white person came in and complimented me on it that's the funny part and i told her you know but i don't know that's why before i got the job i asked them what you know i always ask what is the hair rule Cause I know how I am. I always like to change the color of my hair. I always like to change the style of my hair. And that's why I want to be prepared. I don't want to look like I get the job and I'll be like, oh, dang, I didn't know. And then they tell me, oh, no, you can't have this. You can't. No, I, I like to be free with my hair. I don't like people telling me what to do with my hair. I hate that. And then I watch kids all day. Kids don't care if you, you could come bald for all they care. They really don't care. You guys see that? I'm, I'm lingering on this hair, man. This hair is the bomb. This hair is the bomb. Oh my goodness, this hair is the bomb. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me turn around. See? Let me turn around, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit long. See? Look at that. You can't tell me this ain't what. Oh, I got some ideas for this. Okay, you already know when this video is done, I'm gonna be I'm gonna put this hair right back in my head and play with it. You already know. I'm finna do that. Now let's get to the next one before you guys switch off. The next one is from Motown Stress Yaki Hair. And you guys know I bought a Yaki one. This one is called Y Maxi. 
I bought one that was a little longer that most likely I'll probably give away to my sister. It was a, um, I got this in a 1B with this beautiful lady on it. Okay. It comes in many colors. It does come in a two-tone type of red, but that's it. It didn't come in any funky colors. So I was like, fine, let me just get a 1B. Um, sorry, the packaging is horrible on this thing. No, it's not. It's just hard for me to take it off. Um, anyway, um, so I bought me one in a gray. I can't remember the name of the gray, but it was basically it was like gray, but it was like a silverish gray. No, I don't want to say silverish. It was a dark gray, all right, but it was a smoky gray. It was like a smoky gray. It was a beautiful color, but it just didn't look right with me. And I, and I saw that I was not going to be versatile with the lipsticks. So I know I'm going to have to give it away. The good thing is I order online. So that's the good thing. So I didn't pay like 60 bucks for it where it's like going to be extremely hard for me to part with it. So that's the good part. But the bad part is I, I don't get to really rock it the way I want to. I ain't going to get a rocket. So anyway, this one, again, which I love, don't have any combs. And I don't use I don't love comb. I I Because even if I have a wig with a comb, I still pin it. And even if... And I just like the fact when it doesn't have a comb because it doesn't does it doesn't do that extra stress on your edges, you know. And my edges are starting to come back. I don't need them to leave. Well, they're starting to grow. I shouldn't say they they, they starting to come back. They they never left, but they they weren't coming back for a minute now. O M G Z. Y'all, do I look like Tina Turner Mama on here? I look like I could be Tina Turner Mama, don't I? Now, see, this is like one of those hairstyles, one of those wigs that are so wiggy wig that you're not sure if it's a wig or you're not sure if it's a, a sewing. So, like, the way this is like this, I could, they ain't got to believe me. I don't care if they believe me or not. I really don't care if they believe me or not. But this wig, I probably have to put some more hair on it. Or if I don't, then I'm, I don't know, I'll probably... I see myself wearing this wig. Let me see. Let me stand up so I can. Oh, yeah. I see myself wearing this wig. And, you know, the good thing about this texture, like this yakky type texture, the good thing about this yakky type texture, when it started getting old, um, for some reason, it's not, like, right now, I feel like it's not enough hair. It's too thin. But uh, when it gets old, it thickens up. So that's one thing I like, because that's the same thing about my Povolo wig. My Povolo wig started to thin in. Now, when you do bangs, you brush it, but you just don't make it too perfect, you know? Um, but let's see. I really like this one. And then I like these type of bangs because especially if you're trying to let your um, your eyebrows grow, you can let them grow because ain't nobody going to see them. But then they can't see the color of your... Um, they can't see the color of your... Um, it's meant to be like this, though. They can't see the color of your eyeshadow unless you make your eyeshadow really, you know. I'm brushing my face now. Unless you make it really um loud. So this is the hair. Let me turn around. It comes to right here, like, so in the tip of my booty. So it's like 20 inches. I didn't think it was this long, honestly. When it was on the mannequin, it looked this long. I really like this. Um, I I really like this. I really like the black. Um, I might have to take this wig with me to the hair store because I might. I don't know. It depends. It, it depends how I look. Okay, honestly, because I might want to add some highlights to this. Just a little bit of that smokiness, that smoky gray color that I like. I just didn't like the full wig of it. Um, if you guys watched the my video, the best wigs for beginners, Fani said that right. Um, you will see that smoky, I believe you will see that smoky wig that I'm talking about if I didn't make a separate video because I can't remember if I got that hair before or after. Let me try to see if you could slide this on onto the side and see. Okay, if you do, you're going to have to play with it a little bit to slide it, to slide and slide, slide. <laughs> see. So you, you, you just have to play with it, honestly. But this is a nice wig, though. I'm really surprised. Now, this wig is really nice. It's 
really nice. Y'all knew it was going to be a long video. Come on now. It's a hair haul plus a wig tutorial. I mean, well, oh, they, it don't look cute like that. It really do. So, yeah. Um, I don't know when I'm going to. Did this come out? Okay, well, let me tell y'all the truth right now, which is upsetting me right now. This just came out like this is too much. This just came out of the wig. So would I suggest that you buy this wig? Yeah, probably not unless you get a good price. I paid 44 bucks for it. No, I didn't. I paid 23 bucks for it because it was at my beauty supply store. They were having buy one, get one. 50% off and this is the one that I got 50% off the other week um, this other week I paid um, $44 for it let me see I want to test to see if I'm y'all lying to y'all one week was $44 and the other week was $28 so the green one was $44 and then this one that I'm rubbing my fingers on to see if any more hair will come out was $28 all right Let me see. Sorry, I don't know why I'm making these funny faces. I'm just trying to see for y'all so y'all can know if y'all should get this wig. This wig is a nice wig. Uh huh. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see? Like, you guys just, like, y'all, I can't even lie about this. See? I can't even lie about this. Y'all saw me put my hand through this. Okay, so what I suggest that... I'm not too mad. I'm mad because I paid for this wig. I ain't gonna lie. I'm mad, but I think the reason... Oh, my goodness. It's coming out in clumps. You guys see this? You guys see this? This is just for me. Like, y'all know that I just literally... I bought this wig. Y'all saw me take the time to take this wig out the package. Wow. As Flavor Shave would say, wow. This is crazy. Okay, so don't buy this wig. Don't buy this wig unless this wig is for $15 and y'all know how to use a hot glue and a gun and buy the other hair and glue it, like glue some tracks to it, fine. But if not, yeah, that's probably what I would have to do. That's why I'm not so upset because I was going to put highlights in this hair anyway. Not too much, but it looks like I do now. So um, the good thing is that it's long enough to for me to put those highlights I look so different with bangs like this. You know, this towards the end of this year, I just want to get something that's um not so, you know, I want to do something different. That's why I, I decided to go with bangs. And that also helps me not to hide anything. Like if I'm wearing a wig with the bangs, it's easier to, um, it's easier to just put this on and just be done. Look at this. This is all that came from this video. Yeah, if this if this is like fifteen bucks, yeah, I'll buy it. If not, um, I probably wouldn't buy it honestly. But like I said, I got it for twenty eight dollars, so that's the reason I ain't tripping. And I was gonna add some more hair to this hair anyway, so that's why I'm not really tripping. But if I didn't, if I just bought this wig, that's it, and I didn't get it for forty eight dollars, and I got it for the original price of. 40, it was like 40, oh, I hate math. It was originally $45. If I didn't get it for $28, I would have been pissed. But since I got it for $28 and I didn't pay 45 bucks for it, yeah, it's it's one of those things that I could chuckle and laugh at. And But tell y'all, don't buy it. Um, I really like the wig. You guys see, the wig really does look nice. It is a nice wig. Um, but be prepared to hot glue some damn tracks to it you know some yaki get the same type of yaki texture hair and glue some track to glue some tracks on top of these type of tracks and uh yeah be prepared to do that uh the bangs i don't really like my bangs too full so i probably won't add most likely i won't add anything over there i probably i probably have to buy two packs now like a one beast just so i can add some fullness in the in the front but it is a nice hair if you're a person that you like big hair you, you probably have to buy some Yankee hair to fill this up. Because see, look, this is all the hair right here. See, this is all the hair right here. If you like your hair not too big, not too, 
not too big, not too little. This wig is perfect for you. Like if I would wear this, I would wear this with a hat and I would have to put all the hair in the front. Um, yeah, see, it's really, see, it's really thin. You see, you can see my charts already. I can feel that. I don't know if you could see it, but I feel like you could see it. So um, you would have to <clears throat> put the hat on and go and just go to work or go to wherever you're going to and put the hat on. So don't tell your whole business because now that they sell a whole bunch of closures, I could say, oh no, the girls, it's a sewing. Oh, it looks like a wig. I'm like, yeah, no, no. I just put a, uh, I, I'll be like, no, I just put a closure. That's mostly how I do my sewings. I do it with the closure, you know, but, um, I don't know if I'm going to wear this to school. I'm going to look for this wig online and see if I can find it cheaper. If I can find it cheaper, I'll link it below and then I'll probably buy me another one just so. I could wear that one to school, but this one, I mean to work, this one, I don't really see myself wearing this one to work. I have to buy me a, I have to get a stupid wig that I don't care about. So anyway, I hope you guys like uh, the review that I gave you. Comment, subscribe. I hope you like the hair hauls. And the reason why I showed you guys the hair hauls, if you live in Indianapolis, go to the one in 30, at East 38th Street, King's Beauty. 8939 East 38th Street, um, 46226, Indianapolis, Indiana. Go to that one. They're the one that's having the sale on these, on the $3.99 here. And also you can find these, you can find this wig, that wig, you can find it not in the green. I bought the last green, sorry. But you can find it, you can find it in different colors. Um, but the rest of these wigs, I will Google it and put it in, in the link below because I need to start doing that. I will link it in the link below. So just look in the link below and then it will be there. If it's not there by the time you got, by the time I upload this, then it will be there the next day. Cause I am gonna upload this on Friday and, um, I want to, it should be there at least by Saturday. You know, it depends how I I'm feeling, um, on Friday. Um, but anyway, comment, subscribe. I thank you guys. I saw that my sub subscriptions have went up. So I'm very happy and excited about that. So Thank you guys for that. I appreciate that you guys think my boring videos, well, let me not say that, my good boring videos are worth watching. So thank you guys. You guys have made my day. You guys have made my week. You guys have made my month. And I love you guys. Thank you. Comment, subscribe if you need any ideas or if you have any ideas of anything that you want me to make a video about. Love you guys. Peace out.